good morning, good morning, good morning, family, good morning. Um, we got some shit to talk about today. Um, I have a light week. So first I'm going to start off with this little bitty rant for motherfuckers that ain't into this. I suggest you uh, change over to somebody else because I'm going to talk about a few things right now. But right now, I like to talk to my ladies because I need y'all motherfuckers. I need somebody to tell me something, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? I need somebody to tell me something. You know, I feel like experience is the best teacher sometimes. Fuck what the books be talking about. Because about now, I need somebody to hit me off with some experience. You feel me? Okay, now. Let me say this. This is for women only, so I'm going to cut the tape after this right here because I don't want this shit to blend in into some other shit. So when I find myself, you know, venturing into a whole different topic, I'm just going to cut the shit because this is on some women, womanly type of old shit. Okay. Uh, first of all, today is the 31st of uh, July. Damn. Bitch, go back to sleep. You need to go back to sleep. You fucking it up already. You ain't even got started. Okay, it is 10.44 on the 31st of um, October. Just got out the shower. Ain't combed my hair. Brushed my teeth, though. Scrubbed my face with my Pro-X. You know, so right now I got a clean face and shit. And, you know, I'm cool. Um, shout out to one of my girls. We were talking about the uh, this eyelash here about to come off. This motherfucker holding on to the ring and the prayer. Um, but um, shout out to one of my girls. She uh, getting her eyebrows done. And um, she want me to, you know, talk about that and all that stuff. And I'm kind of thinking about going back and getting a touch up on it. Because this is the way it looks when I have nothing on them. This is just the, the look of it. But again, I got it done and I think it was 2005. So, um, I'm well overdue for a touch-up. So, I'm kind of thinking for Christmas, um, I'm going to get a touch-up. Because the girl that did mine, she sent me a card uh, saying that I would get 25% off of a touch-up. So, I might just um, get me a touch-up for Christmas. I don't know. But, anywho, um, what else was I about to come on with? Oh, my womanly situation. Uh... Y'all, now, yesterday, well, all weekend long, all weekend long, the Big Bad Wolf had me on this Jada Fire type old shit all weekend long. I obliged. It wasn't right. And so, uh, but then because, see, let me say, in September, my period came on September 11th, okay? When my period came on September 11th, it um, lasted maybe two days. And for that whole two days, I probably wore maybe two regular tampons. That's it. I didn't flow almost non-existent. And it was just so tinged pink. It wasn't even like no full period. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, what the fuck? Okay, all right. You know, but I, excuse me, I was like, you know what, bitch? I ain't going to complain. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really the only time that my body gets a rest with this nigga I'm fucking around with. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time that my body gets a rest. And that is when I'm on my period because I won't go around him. You know what I'm saying? For those couple of days, I just, you know, fall back, stay at home. Because me and him, we be on some magnetic type old shit and it just jumps off. So when I'm on, I kind of try to, you know, exit stage right. You know, give me 50 feet, you know what I'm saying, so I can go on and handle this. My body can go through this cleansing. Well, September 11th, my period started. The day after my birthday, it lasted about two days. Shit, I was fucking by the 13th. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I, it was on and popping around the 13th. My shit was over with, you know. So, um, I was like, huh, it was a little bit strange, but I was like, okay, cool. So, I'm on a 28-day cycle, which means my period was due to come around the 14th of October. It didn't come. Bitch was getting ready to do it. You know what I'm saying? I was going to do an APB out on this motherfucker. Because it didn't come, right? Mind you, I got the Miranda. 
I got the motherfucking IUD. So I know I got something in place. But still, this bitch is expired. My shit was supposed to came out a long motherfucking time ago. And it was supposed to came out last year when I was going. But they was like, okay, well, since you're going to get the hysterectomy, well, you know, of course, we'll have to cancel it out anyway. Because they was taking my uh, cervix and my uterus anyway. So it was like, okay, well, there was no need for them to go in there on a separate thing to just take that out and put me another one in. It would have been rather redundant. It wouldn't have made no sense. So that's why I did not get it, you know, done. Okay. But being that I had such a bad situation with my gynecologist, it just kind of got me, you know, a little bit reluctant on going back. You know, of course I can't go back to her anyway. But, you know, just to go before a gynecologist, I'm kind of, you know, I kind of feel a little apprehension right there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, it's it's an emotional thing for me that I really need to get get past. You know, I'm still human, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm human as a motherfucker. So, you know, I go through the same things that everybody else go through, you know. So, anyway... So I was like, okay, now what am I going to do? I need to go down there and make me an appointment or whatever. So when my period came on in September, again, it was like not even a period. It was like nothing. So after that, my period was due to come on on the 14th. The bitch didn't come. So we was like, okay, any motherfucking day now. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I don't get cramps. I've never had them. I don't get cramps and shit like that. Now, when my... um fibroid kicked up i was just having clotting really really bad clotting and i was having some abdominal pain then but you know it wasn't nothing you know what i'm saying where i needed a motherfucking epidural you understand what i'm saying it wasn't to that degree uh, i think i got a pretty fr a strong pain tolerance so i was like shit bitch give me some hot chocolates you know what i'm saying so at any rate um, it didn't come on the 14th, so I was like, okay, a little bit alarm. So all weekend long, Big Bad Wolf is on, you know what I'm saying, from the living room to the bathroom to the motherfucking kitchen counter to the motherfucking bedroom, what? You know, I had to beat this motherfucker off with a bat in the motherfucking car. You know, I'm like, nigga, do you understand that we are still in the garage, motherfucker? Do you realize we are still in the garage? Will you back this back out, motherfucking garage, nigga? Do we have some shit to do? You know, I mean, this is how this nigga I got. This is the way he is up on me. I mean, this nigga is up close and personal. I mean, he's hard. I mean, hard on the paint all the time, all the fucking time. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what he's going through. I don't know. But this motherfucker's on my ass like a motherfucker. From the time I hit the dope, you know, and in my, and, 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 you know, I also got to admit, though, I do be fucking with him, because, y'all, I go over there, y'all, I get booty naked. If I'm not booty naked, ladies, I will, you know, I'll leave my top on, like, my, my beater, or I go in there and I put on one of his beaters, keep my bra on, but I ain't got no panties and no pants on, and I'm in there cooking, I'm in there, uh, folding up shit, I'm in there... Excuse me, straightening up, vacuuming, and he digging it like a motherfucker. That nigga be on his mother, because he has one of them sectional, uh, playpen type, um, sectionals with the chase lounge on one, t on one side, and then it kind of goes around like that. So, that's the way his, uh, sectional is, right? And so, that nigga be, he be laid up on that motherfucking chase lounge with his motherfucking hands behind his head like that, watching my ass like it's a motherfucking movie. You feel me? This nigga be watching me like I'm FX like a motherfucker. And I be like, on, on what I'm on. You know what I mean? Doing what the fuck I do. Now, um, with that being said, of course a nigga gonna be jumping on your ass every time you turn around. I mean, you doing it like that, though? I mean, whereas you coming in the door just unhipping motherfucking shit, and that's all the time. So, with that, I'm like, okay, this bitch need to come on. I need her to come on and come on fully. Fuck all the dumb shit. I need you to come all the way in. You know what I'm saying? I need to I need to see that you really here, goddammit. Fuck all that. I, I want some bright red type old shit. I want some bloody Mary type. I need this bitch to come on in full effect and bring her motherfucking friends. That's what I'm talking about. I need her to come on for real. So, uh, Saturday, um, let's see what I do Saturday. 
What happened Saturday? Ooh, shit, I don't remember. Y'all, I mean, I was so, I was on some whole aqua boogie all weekend long. Shit, I didn't know what was going on from one minute to the motherfucking be next. Y'all, I was fucked up all fucking weekend long. So, Saturday night, um, he drunk as fuck. Him and his partners was over there playing dominoes and getting fucked up. So, um, of course, you know, I burn a candle on two ends. I got a family, I got kids and all that other shit. And when my kids are with Tony, you know what I'm saying, I do whatever, you know. So, you know, I was going and coming and going and coming and going and coming. Now, see, my oldest, my 15-year-old, he on shit. Mama, I got this, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't need no motherfucking babysitter, you know what I'm saying? I, what? You just around the corner, go. You know what I mean? So... Anthony stayed at home, but still, of course, you know, I'm going back and forth or whatever, and I had went and, you know, got some pastrami's and different shit like that. So, later on, I come back, you know, give my body a little bit of break. I left, and I came back later on Saturday night, and him and his homeboys, they in there getting fucked up. I said, oh, my God. As soon as I opened up the motherfucking door, it was like, Phew. I mean, just, y'all, poof. So, when I go in there, you know, and I'm looking at the table, and I'm looking at them niggas and shit, and, you know, and everybody doing what they're doing and shit, and I'm like, okay, and they playing dominoes, motherfucking music blasting and shit, them niggas was in that party. So, you know, um, he know that my period ain't came, so he a little bit, you know, but see, this nigga here is kind of excited about it. I'm like, nigga, uh, are you not, uh, getting ready to be 49, nigga, in like three days, motherfucker, like, for real? I mean, are you serious? Sit your goddamn ass down, okay? I ain't on no rock by baby type old shit, nigga. I like to sleep, motherfucker. You already know this. You know what I'm saying? You wake me up. Motherfucker better wake me up with a motherfucking hard on and a motherfucking uh, Kit Kat and a motherfucking uh, strawberry banana smoothie. Jack in a box. Regular. You feel me? 